car under control. But we'll see what this race has in store for us. Jeff Holden will bring him to green along with the bandit Josh Hicks. They're sliding already. A run goes wild. Will the green flag will fly no matter what. A couple of cars going the wrong direction. Jeff Holden gets out front early. I don't think it's going to stay green for long. Martin looks like he's having trouble getting going here in the front stretch. And like you said, Ted, from south to north here on the Thunder right. They'll come through turns three and four. Chad Harrington will wave the green flag. We're going to try it again. Hicks will way outside. As they charge by the flag stand, Jeff Holden will slide up the hill. Here comes Heim. Corey Heim, the 78 car, trying to slide underneath, but he will not be able to. Curry Pierce slides into third. Taylor Jorgensen, fourth, outside of her brother in fifth place, but sliding in underneath him now is the 71 car of Fletcher. As everybody is sliding, it's like on ice out here. This is insane down here trackside. Jeff Holden continues to lead the way. Corey Heim charging behind him. Curry Pierce staying down as low as possible in third. Fletcher now solidifies himself in fourth. Around goes Taylor Jorgensen. Taylor Jorgensen spins it out down there in turn number four. Her brother will sneak on by. She gets re-straightened out. We're going to stay green. Here comes Heim now. Heim charging down into turn number three. Gets a little look at that. They go down through the puddle in turn three. Heim's going to come out of this thing on the inside and will lead it at the flag stand. So Heim is your second race leader. Holding down in second. Fletcher still doing a good job holding down third, but he's got Jensen Jorgensen breathing down his back in turn three. Curry Pierce rounds out your first five as the first five cars have separated themselves sideways out of turn four. This is wild, absolutely wild down here trackside for your racing radio and pro division. I has now separated himself from the second place car of Holden. Looks like a three or four car length lead as they battle for a turn three and four. Jensen Jorgensen looking to the inside. He'll get to the inside of Fletcher and now put him up to the number three spot. But now he'll slide high. Fletcher dives down underneath and bump that position back. <laughs> Fletcher will hold it down as they go through three and four. Jorgensen settles in behind him. A little bumper tag as your second place car of Holder goes sideways out of turn four. If Hyde glances up in his rearview mirror, he loves what he sees because they're all battling and sliding behind him. Hyde has increased that lead down about eight car lengths over Holden. Fletcher right behind Jorgensen trying to find that room and the grip out of turn four as they charge down the front straightaway. Hyde, that 78 car down the back straightaway, a little bit of mud on that inside number. He got that when they darted down through that inside line and hit the mud puddle in turn three and four to take over that lead. He's still got the remnant on his 78 door panel. Oh, Fletcher gets up and gets old, holding a bump. The three bump roll in effect. The first bump's to let you know I'm there. The second bump's to tell you to pick a lane. The third bump, maybe he'll pick it for him and he will. No, he'll fade back there coming out of turn four. Jensen Jorgensen, though, now will move inside of Fletcher. Fletcher had to get out the minus a little bit, but Fletcher will fight back. Woo. Oh, he's going to come up and give Holden a shot. But Holden will hold it steady in turn three and four. Meanwhile, Corey Heim is just out for a Thursday night cruise as he now has a straightaway late lead over Holden. Fletcher. Jorgensen and the 96 car out, Robbie Johnson. We're over halfway home here for your Racing Radio's Pro Division. I'm, like we've been saying, is in control of the battle to watch right now for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Bubba Harry has now found himself up in fifth position. The former national champion will come up and close in on the 32 car, Jorgensen. Jensen Jorgensen trying to make it four straight, but he's got a lot of work and a short amount of time to get it done. He now moves past Fletcher. He is in the third place, but he's got holes in front of him and then a half a straightaway to a straightaway length lead to Heim. On turn four, everybody.
while they hold it steady, they're starting to get a feel for this track, and now the racing, the racing is getting better and better as the laps go by, but the laps are also running out on all these challengers. Everybody but Corey Heim wants a caution right now to bunch this field back up. Heim safely through turns one and two, while Jorgensen, Jensen, and the 53 car of Holden. Holden with a great run tonight. Jeff Holden out of Gainesville, Georgia. His best run so far in the Racing Radio Pro Division. But look out, he's going to go around here, coming out of third four. Jensen Jorgensen maybe getting into his head a little bit there out of the turn. Jorgensen safely on by. Fletcher safely on by as is Harry. And the caution will have to fly. Not what Corey High wanted to see. Yeah, but that's exactly what Jensen Jorgensen was looking for. It was about a full straightaway advantage between High and Jorgensen. Outside, choosing to go outside. Let's see if that man can do anything with these youngsters in front of him. Here we go. The green flag will fly again. Five left to me. Who's going to pick up the victory here tonight? Week number four. Look at that. Fletcher's going to get by Jorgensen. Bubba Harry's going to get by Jorgensen. And Heim flies out to the lead through turns three and four. Fletcher now in second. Harry now in third. Jorgensen has faded back, but he's in fourth. And Fleeman now is your top five. Everybody down low, it's starting to dry out on that inside line. So we'll see if Fletcher's got anything for Heim as they charge down in through turns three and four. Fletcher closes up on Heim's rear bumper. They're bumper to bumper here at the flag stand. Down into turn number one. Maybe a little tap, no, Heim will get away from him. Down the back straightaway, he's got a half a car length lead. Fletcher closes up in turn three once again, right behind him is Bubba Harry. Jorgensen gives him a little tap to try and unsettle the car as they charge, battling out for three and four. Out of turn number two. Heim in control. Fletcher trying to see if he's got anything. The white flag will fly. Time to put up or shut up for Dawson Fletcher. Jorgensen will make it by Bubba Harry as they come by the flag stand. Jorgensen will need all chaos to break loose up front if he's going to win four in a row. But right now, Heim in control. Heim steady through three. Hard out of four, and Heim is going to win it tonight. Fletcher will come across the stripe flat and sideways. Jorgensen will come home third, followed up by Bubba Harry. Fifth place will go to Russell Fleeman. A great run by that veteran short tracker here out of Georgia. So there but, it is. For the first time in 2017, we've got a winner other than Jensen Jorgensen, Corey Heim, holding off Dawson Fletcher to pick up the win here tonight in our Racing Radio's Pro Division race. Two cautions, just about had a third there late, but Fletcher was able to hold on to it, come across the line in second position, and this ought to be a great interview down track side right now. Might be a dirty interview. See how the inside <laughs> of that, how that race car looks as Ted walks up to our race winner tonight. Corey Heim, his first win of 2017. Let Corey get his helmet off here. An excited young man picking up the feature victory tonight. Corey, congratulations. It was like dirt track racing out there tonight. What was it like from your vantage point? Yeah, it was crazy. It was uh, definitely a challenge. I've never raced in anything like this. Uh, it was definitely uh, just a game of patience and you know, it was just a whole lot of fun. I'd like to thank my dad, Matt, Jake, and George for working on this car and making it really fast this week. I know that these cars are really hard to drive on a drive. Joined by Dawson Fletcher. Dawson, you've ran this Pro Series class here for the last year as well as this year. What can you take out of what you learned last year that you've been able to bring into this year early on here in the season? Um, I was new last year, and I think I learned a lot from the Pro class and getting the experience how the people drive. And with Jorgensen coming in this year, um, We've uh, adapted to race with him, and we've kind of figured everyone out, and now we're just out there trying to win races. You talk about figuring people out, throwing him into the mix. You led a lot of laps last week. What are you going to do to get over that hump this week? I think we just we just uh, got to qualify good and just try and get out there and get some room and some space and just get comfortable with the car and relax, take our time, and hopefully at the end we can be up front. It seemed like... You've been able to qualify well the past couple of weeks. What's been some of the reasons for your success in terms of being able to qualify as well as you have? 
Um, we've definitely figured out the car, and Taylor Hall, who's been helping us a lot, uh, he's helped us through qualifying, and we've had a really good short-run car, and now we're trying to work on our long-run car. And um, I think trying to find the middle between long-run and short-run is uh, the key here, and that's, that's where we've been struggling. Now, last week, a little bit of weather shortened the feature race from 25 laps to 20. This week, still have that threat of rain in the air. Does that change your strategy coming into a, to tonight's action? Uh, not much. We've looked at the radar a little bit, and we're going to just go for it and hope that we get the full race in and um, hopefully we can run it till the end. Dawson, thank you very much for joining us. Good luck tonight. Dawson Fletcher joining us here during tonight's broadcast. We'll have much more after this as you're listening to Thursday Thunder presented by Papa John's Pizza on 92.5 The Bear. At Kids Bouncy Things.